Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Downshift. My name is Matt, and today I have something very special for me. That's right, this one is a selfish one. Uh, I am in the Focus RS. Oh my god. This thing is fast! <laughs> oh my gosh. So, when this car first came out, I wanted one of these, or I wanted a uh, BMW M235i. And I am so happy to be driving one of these today. So as some of you may know, this is Ford's Hyper Hatch. They have the Focus ST, which is in the hot hatch segment. This is what you might consider a Hyper Hatch. Because it has got just way too much freaking power. Stuff that competes against this thing are the Civic Type R, uh, the VW Golf R, and the Subaru WRX STI. Some serious, serious automobiles. Now. This Focus is not your typical Focus, obviously. Uh, it's got much more aggressive styling. Uh, it's got the crazy big grill, the huge wing out the back, the big dual exhaust. Oh, and speaking of that exhaust, there it is. tester today is a nitrous blue uh, which is kind of what the press car color was it is a beautiful beautiful shade of a very light blue um, I absolutely love it uh, I think it actually looks a lot more sparkly in person than you would think but it looks really good now this car comes standard with Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires uh, you can option up to the Michelin uh, Pilot Sport Cup 2s and if you're insane, but uh, you absolutely can do that. Now, like I said, this car is designed a little bit differently than its normal Focus uh, rental car. This is a lot lower, wider, and meaner looking, uh, and it really lends to the sporty kind of boy racer feel that this car conveys. Some standard features are keyless entry with push button start, of course. Uh, the interior as a whole is very reminiscent of um, <clears throat> just kind of the titanium trim on the Ford Focus. Uh, you get the big kind of 8-inch screen, the, the Sync 3 system, uh, Sony audio. Uh, it's nothing overly special, but it is fairly nice. The biggest change are the Recaro bucket seats that you get in here. They are... Some people complain about them not being very comfortable. I think they're okay. Uh, I'm a little bit more slender build, so I fit in them a lot better. And I really kind of understand why they use these seats because this car is so stiff and taut that you really need these huge bolsters to hold you in place. It really does toss you around and it's a lot of fun. Of course, in addition with the Recaro seats, you do get the blue stitching everywhere on the on the flat bottom steering wheel, uh, on your Recaro seats, all the way up the, the kind of center console area everywhere as well. This is a very track focused car, but you do get the creature comforts like heated seats. Uh, you get a USB in your center console here. Um, you do get a sunroof, although it's a $900 option. This one is equipped with it. Um, also, I should say, uh, in terms of packages and equipment, uh, you can equip the sunroof for $900, and for $3,000, you can get the leather and Alcantara uh, combination seat interior. Um, this is the one that's equipped on my tester. I like it. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure how the Alcantara will, will live long term, but I think it looks great, and it adds to a very sporty and dynamic feel uh, within the car. Rear seat room also is adequate, it's livable. Uh, you don't get many amenities, but you do <laughs> you do get the same kind of leather and Alcantara everywhere. Um, the rear seat, interesting fact, it does split 60-40. However, there is no center uh, cup holder or armrest in the middle where you would normally pull down. Uh, it's just bare in there, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it would be that big a deal for Ford to include that, but apparently it is, so it's not included. Now being a hyper hatch, you have to have a hatchback, and this car does. And <laughs> the owner of this car has a huge kicker uh, subwoofer in the back. That is not standard, by the way. Uh, but you do get standard 20 cubic feet of cargo space, which is pretty good. Now let's talk about driving dynamics. transmission that comes in this car is this wonderful six-speed manual. 
You also get Ford's 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder that can be found in the Mustang. Uh, but they've tuned this guy up to 350 pound feet of torque and 350 horsepower. feel every bit of it and you hear every bit of it coming out of that big dual exhaust out the back. This car is turbocharged so it does redline at 6500 but that's really all you need. You get a lot of noise and a lot of power uh, so it does keep you on your toes. The coolest thing about this car is the torque vectoring all-wheel drive and that kind of is how the drift mode uh, allows itself to make the normal person feel like a pro drifter. This is not going to make, I shouldn't say that, it's not going to make the normal person Ken Block um, but it is going to make you whip around a little bit faster and send a little bit more power out to those outside rear wheels to get them loose. Now if you can't tell, <laughs> this car is a bit stiff. Uh, there, there are four different uh, driving modes. There's normal, sport, track, and drift. Uh, I really wish that it came with adaptive dampers and I could soften it up, uh, but once you hear that exhaust... Some people complain about the seats not being super comfortable. I don't mind them. Uh, they give me a nice hug on the sides here, so I think they're good, especially when I'm throwing it around a little bit in turns. Like I said, this car is very stiff. It's very rigid. Uh, it's very track focused, more so than any other car in this segment. Um, so I think the seats are appropriate for this selection. Oh my God, this thing just begs to be driven hard. rewards you for every shift. The steering is so precise and so linear <laughs> and the chassis is just so tight. It really is a super track focused car and it really begs you to drive it fast. It is fast as hell and it is a lot of fun. I'm talking about how fast this car is. Top Gear, Top Gear, kind of did a comparison test with this versus the Mustang GT and this thing barely lost. It shot off the line a lot faster due to the all-wheel drive system but it barely lost in the quarter mile by less than half a second. Lastly, we have things like fuel economy, which is about 19 city, 25 highway, they're saying. But really, who cares? With this car, no one cares about fuel economy. This is what I care about. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That exhaust is crazy. Now you're probably saying to yourself, wow, that's a cool car. That's a nice Focus, but it is a Focus. So how much does it cost? Um, well, you can get this car, the base, about starting at about $36,000, just under, um, with the options for the seats, uh, the sunroof, and a couple other things like wheels, tires, whatever. Uh, you can option your Focus up around forty dollars uh, so it's up to you if you want to spend that much on a Focus. However, the Focus name does not do this car justice. This is a fast, tight, nimble, agile sports car and it deserves to be treated and priced as such, and I think it does. Also, you're gonna pay 40 grand for a Golf R. You're gonna pay 40 grand for a Subaru WRX STI. So you're not paying that much more money to get into one of those, which is a, not as good of a car. This is a better car. You get around for similar money, and you get the practicality of a hatch where you don't uh, in something like the WRX STI. So before I go, I do want to thank my friends at International Autos in West Dallas, Wisconsin for making this review possible. Uh, they've made a lot of videos possible for me, and they will continue to do so. They've taken great care of me, and they will do the same for you. They've got this car sitting on their lot for now. I had to get in here for a rush, re <laughs> rush review because they've already got a bunch of leads on this thing. So if you're interested, go check it out. You're going to miss it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. All right, we're in sport mode. Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> this car is so fast. Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> it's so tight and rigid. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a track car. This is a track focused automobile right here.